bear, mama bear, and baby bear lived in a cottage in the woods. One day, mama bear made porridge. It was too hot to eat, so the bears went for a walk to let it cool. One day, while they were out, a little girl named Goldilocks came to the door. She smelled the porridge and went inside. She took a taste from Papa Bear's bowl. It was much too hot. She took she took a taste from Mama Bear's bowl. It was it, it was it, it was just too cold. She took a bit. She took a taste from Ma. She took a taste from Pop. She took she took a taste from Baby Bear's bowl. It, it was just right until the. And then, and she ate it all up. She sat in Papa Bear's chair. It was much, it was much too hard. She took a, she, she sat in Mama Bear's chair. It was much too soft. She took a taste. She took, she took, she sat in Baby Bear's chair. It, it was just right until the seat broke and Goldilocks fell down. She said she she she, she pa, Papa Bear's pillow was too big. Mama Bear's pillow was too flat. Baby Bear's pillow was just right. She didn't even wake up when the three bears came home for breakfast. Somebody's been eating my porridge, Papa Bear roared. Somebody's been sitting in my porridge, Papa Mama Bear cried. Somebody's been sitting in my porridge. Somebody's been eating. Somebody's been eating my porridge. Squeaked Baby Bear, and they are eating it all up. Somebody's been sitting in sleepy. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. Papa Bear roared. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. Papa Bear, Mama Bear cried. Somebody's been sitting in my porch. Mama squeaked Baby Bear, and she. And she's still here. Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. Oh my, she said, and ran all the way home. And Goldilocks never, and the three bears never saw Goldilocks again. The end. Okay, read the next one. The little red hen. The little red hen had found a grain of wheat in the farm in the farmyard. He'll help me plant it, she asked. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Then, then, I'll, then, then, I'll, then I'll do it myself, she said. He will help me. He will help me cut the wheat, she asked. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the cat. Not I, said the dog. Then I will do it myself, she said. Then I will cut it myself, she said. He'll me he will he will help me turn the wheat into flowers, she asked. Not I said the not I said the cat. Not I said the dog. Then I will do it myself, she said. He will help me make the bread, she asked. Not I said the duck. Not I said the cat. Not I said the dog. Then I will, then I, then I will make it myself, she said. The, the little red hen made the lovely loaf of bread. I'll help you eat it, said the duck. I'll help you eat it, said the cat. I'll help you eat it, said the dog. Oh, no, you won't, said the little red hen. I and my chicks will eat the bread. The end. The end. Once upon a time, a mother, a mother pig lived in a house with the three little pigs. One night, the, the little pigs wanted to go and live on their own, so the mother pig waved them goodbye and off they went. The first little pig wanted to build a house made with a flimsy, of, wanted to build a flimsy straw house. She had just finished it when along came a wolf. Little pig, let me come in, he called. 
No, said the little pig. Not, not by the hair of my, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Now huff and I'll puff and I'll blow her house in, shouted the wolf. He huffed and puffed and blew the house in. The second little pig wanted to build a house made of sticks. He had just finished it when along came the wolf. Little pig, let me come in, he called. No, said the little, little pig. Not, not by the hair of my, ch my little chin, my little chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow her house in, shouted the wolf. He huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. The second little pig wanted to build a house wanted to build a house made of brick. He had just finished it when along came the wolf. Little pig, let me come in, he called. No, said the little, little pig, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow her house and shut the wolf. And he huffed and he puffed, but he couldn't blow the little brick house down. B -N. There's this troll that um that didn't want the Billy Goat Gruff to go over it to cause the, cause their feet was too muddy and they and the troll didn't want them to go to their house and he was being grumpy and when the first the the little one said fuck 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 and then he stepped on really slowly because he was little. And then he said, big, big. Then his feet said, big, 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 big. Then, um, then he went across. Then the child said, who is going over my bridge? It's me, little Billy Goat Scruff. Then all. Well, then I, I'm going to eat you up. Don't eat me up. Wait for my big brother. Then the, the troll said, now you can go on my bed. And then um, the middle-sized belly girl graph went on a bit. And then he said, tick-tock, tick-tock. And his feet said, big bop, big bop, big bop, big bop, big bop. And then he said, he, his feet said, big bop. Big, bark, big, bark, and then, then the troll said, "Who's going over my bridge?" Then, then the, the, the little size Billy Goat Gruff said, "It's me, little Billy Goat. It's it's me, middle sized Billy Goat Gruff. Well, I'm gonna eat you up. Don't eat me up. Wait for my big brother." And then the troll said. Then the troll said, now you can go over my bridge. And then, um, then, then the big Billy Goat Gruff, he, his feet said, Big Bok, Big Bok, Big Bok. And then he said, then the troll said, who's going over my bridge? Then, it's, then, then the Billy Goat Gruff said, it's me, Big Billy Goat Gruff. Why? I'm, well, I'm gonna eat you up. You can't eat. You can't me. You can't me. You can't eat me up. And then, then, the, then the, then the Billy go. Then you build. Then the Billy go. Gruff knocked his, knocked the troll into the water with his horns. Ah!